Welcome, loved ones. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you, subscribers, for following and sharing our videos, following our page. You can follow Chemistry on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I love all you. Thank you for all your support. Um, I wanted to, oh, I have not been here in a while, and I do apologize about that. It's for a very good reason. I got some projects in the work. Uh, I'm working full time now because I got some projects that I have going on here. So I apologize about that, but it's for a very good reason. I wanted, you know, I got some things going on that I want to do with the shop and everything. Um, so I apologize about that. For those of you who have reached out to me about, about the Know Thyself course, I will be trying to get to you a little later. i just been so busy, and I do apologize about that. Uh, what else did I want to mention? Oh, and I'm thinking about uh, on May 7th doing a full moon, May 7th, 2020, doing a full moon like Mother's Day reading thing. So I'll let you guys know if I'm going to do that. Okay, uh, I'll try to post it ahead of time so you'll know. Um, and I wanted to come here and talk about this book by Sharon Farber. Really good book, Choosing to Be a Medium. Really good book. I got the book because I've been really working with my ancestor altar, uh, doing some, killing some ancestral energy patterns. Um, you know, that's all a part of that shadow work, that working the Know Thyself course. I've been really, really uh, working on, some, on myself and really focusing on my energy and really uh, just trying to heal a, a, a lot of things within myself and really working with my ancestors. And so I really wanted to know uh, more about mediumship. I'm very intuitive. And so this is where intu issuing, intuition and mediumship meet. I've never thought of myself as a medium. I know that I had, I was very intuitive. I was very intuitive. I knew that. Um, I know that. But I never thought of myself as a medium, as talking to spirits. You know, I know a spirit exists and I know I have spirit guides, you know, but I've never thought of myself as a medium. And so I wanted to get mo know more about mediumship and the experiences and things like that. And this is a really good book because she goes through exercises and teaching you uh, how to strengthen your psychic ability, your senses. And uh, you can work by yourself or you can work in a group. She got it set up like that. So this is an awesome book for that. A good reference book. If you're trying to develop your medium, uh, learn to be a medium and, and know when you're contacting the spirit and know when you're seeing the spirit. But she does it from a perspective where she is seeing it with her third eye. You know, and I think she may have maybe two incidences where she, two incidents where she actually saw a, a spirit person. You know, but really she's talking about seeing the spirit with your third eye, being able to uh, tap into that third eye sense and teaching you how to strengthen it uh, with this book. And it's there's like, man, she has like so many exercises in here. Let me see. Uh, she had a lot of exercise in here. Let me go. A lot. Because she talks about telepathy. Strengthening your intuition, making intuition instinctive, using intuition. These are all exercises. Wonder about everything, who's calling, what time is it, perceiving pictures, sensing colors, psychometry, psychic shower, waterfall of light meditation. I mean, she has so many exercises in here. She has over, oh, let's see, over... She has 65 exercises in here that covers the chakras and auras. You know, she she covers everything. So this is an awesome book. If you're trying to tap into your uh, psychic abilities and strengthen your third eye so you can work with spirits and spirit guides, I do recommend this book because she's really, this is, I would say this book is dealing with your third eye because she's teaching you how to see visually spirits visually with your third eye okay uh which 
we have been doing anyway. If you follow some of the meditation, I take y'all. A lot of y'all love that ancestral alignment meditation. You know why you love it? Because you're actually going over there to the ancestors. So you're actually going over there. And she talks about this kind of in this book. I like talking about it. You guys know I've talked about this with you more than one time. Imagination is more than what it is. What do you think your third eye is? What do you think your third eye is connected to your imagination? This, this is the first place where you see something, where you create something. You create it up here. You see it in here first. That's your third eye. If you can see it before it's even created or you can visualize something with your mind, you are creating, you are using your third eye. Okay, I'm just going to make it that simple for you. And she's teaching you how to use your third eye. And use those senses to really sense spirits. And and she she talks about how it, in a group you're able to extend each other energy and even intensify uh, those medium skills. It's better when you can work in a group because you can intensify those those uh, medium skills by sharing your energy with each other. You know, like I said, this is an awesome book. I was really interested in it. Uh, it's a lot of things I like about it, but I I, I need to go on. Uh, I really wanted to know more. She talked about spirit guides and people ancestors coming through. Uh, and it's really scary. I guess it, it's just like tarot cards to me. Uh, you really have to learn to trust yourself and really build this up as a skill. You know, uh, so this is an awesome book. I really liked it. Uh, I don't know. I I wanted to know more about working with with ancestors uh, and, and spirits, you know. I like this book because it's a how to book. But I really wanted to focus on really how to uh, routinely work with spirits and and ancestors. That's the only thing I didn't like about that book because I didn't feel like it focused on enough of that. It focused it more on developing those skills. And it talked about a few experiences in here. But it talks mo mostly about how to, to develop those skills. And she talks a little bit about her story. But overall, this is a great book. I do recommend this book. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to read uh, the conclusion in here for you. Because I, like I said, this is an awesome book. I do recommend this book. If you're trying to communicate with, uh, see with your third eye, see spirits with your third eye, strengthen your third eye. Uh, this is a great book for that. This is a how-to exercises, get a psychic uh, circle going. This is a great book for that, you know. And I, I'm thinking about doing uh, some circle, some of the exercises in the shop. So that's just how good some of, you know, some of these exercises are in this book. So I do recommend it. Um, but I, like I said, I'm also coming here and I'm going to do another book review on uh, on altars and altars and ancestral altars. So I'll be coming back uh, doing a review on that, working with ancestors a little more. It's an awesome little book I bought. So I'll be coming here doing a review on that real soon. Okay, she's, this is the conclusion on page 189. Mediumship is fascinating and sacred path and more accessible than many folks realize. People routinely tell me how they love to communicate with the deceased loved ones, but didn't think it was something they could learn. My goal with this book is to offer the opportunity to explore spirit communication to all who are interested with the hope of excitement and encouragement. Mediumship is powerful and promotes peace and healing to embody people and those in spirit. I hope that spreading awareness of spirit, spirit communication and teaching more people to take part in it will make the world a better place. Please remember the importance of love and service. Spirit communication isn't meant to be a game or a gateway to fame. 
Mediumship requires responsibility and good intentions regardless of how far you choose to pursue your development. Aim for spiritual growth, which includes striving for inner peace, harmony, balance, as well as love and respect for all things. Be joyful, be joyful invite, invite spirits, be enthusiastic, share the light. Learning to connect with those in spirit is a lifelong process. You're never done developing. And I believe that too. Uh, just with my communication with the ancestors and how I communicate with them, um, I believe that. Be gentle with yourself now and always as you let your abilities unfold. Work with people you trust who you who will support your journey and delight in it. Share your path with other mediums as you grow encourage and enjoy one another know that you're loved and supported by those in spirit individuals you share this lifetime with as well as new spirit friends and helpers wait to lead you forward on a divine voyage i leave you with the blessings of spirit and wishes for a magical journey and then she goes on to talk about the 10 uh it's a appendix in here and the 10 mediums and 10 questions. So there's some questions in here that um, if you had any questions that answer all these questions back here in the, of the book. So like I said, it's a wonderful book. I do recommend it. Um, but like I said, I'm really focusing on and, and I'm really thinking about uh, two going more into that into an ancestral group. But I'm really focusing on working more with ancestors. Uh, she tells it in a way where you can use your imagination and your senses, uh, so to speak, to sense uh, spirits. You know, that's that's the way I picked it up. I could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's my perspective. But you may read it and, and, and get something else out of it. You know, uh, but that's how I saw it. I saw her. Uh, using her third eye to connect um, connect with these spirits. But that too, that remind me of that other book that I let y'all, um, that I gave you for free. I did a book review on it. Oh, I gave away a free PDF. I can't even remember the book now. But it's I did a book review on it. But this in this book, it can, he talks about opening up your astral senses. And she talked, and, and and some of the things she talked about uh, in this book was just like the book of magic, the book of high magic that I had. Uh, I gave it away for y'all. I can't even remember because it was an ebook, it's a PDF book, so I can't even remember the name of the book. Gosh, but this guy talks about uh, it's summoning spirits. That's the name of the book, summoning spirits book. So go back and watch that video. I did a book review on that book. But in there, he talks about how you slowly can open up your astral senses. And I actually did it, but it happens so fast. The way he teach you, it, it opens you up quick. He teach you in a way where you open up those astral senses. Because what you're doing in his book is you, you're kind of, when you open up your astral senses, you're actually going into their realm. And you're inviting them into yours. He actually opened up your third eye where you can see them in your realm. And you're into theirs. Yes. It's a trip when you first see it because you didn't even know that dimension was so close to you. It tripped me out when it first happened to me because I was actually seeing it was the broom was pitch black. And you could see these little white dots like flying by you. Like flying by you. These was the little spirit. I had to turn the light on. You know, when I turned the light on, it went away. But he he opened up those astral senses to where you can sense those other dimensions. They're just that close to us. So, you know, I might go back and, and look at that book. But her book made me want to go back and look at that book and kind of put some things together with it. You know, y'all know me. I just be, I be, I be just reading and reading and putting things together. You know how I am. So, I do recommend the book. Like I said, it was a good book. Go back and watch that Summoning Spirit uh, video because I gave away a free PDF uh, of that book. 
And he talks about how to open up your astral senses too. But be careful because he teaches you in a way where if you want them to open up a little faster and is you consistent with it, because you have to be consistent with his methods. I don't think you have to be too consistent with hers. Uh, you just have to form a group and, you know, uh, something like that. But with his, if you're consistent, because the way he has it uh, set up, if you're consistent and do, do it just the way he tells you to do it, you're going to get, like, results by yourself. And this one, if you do it the way she tell you to do it, you'll get results, but it'll be slow, it'll slowly unfold. You know, she tells, she gives you exercises where it slowly unfolds. But if you get the sum, if you go back and look at the Summoning Spirits book that I, I gave as a, a free PDF, this guy gives you the information where it happens at a very uh, rapid pace if you follow everything. But you have to be consistent and do it just the way he tells you to do it. Okay? Really good book. Uh, go check that out. Uh, and this is a good book, too. Okay, again, Choosing to Be a Medium by Sharon Farber. Really good book to have in a reference. Open up your third eye. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was insightful. I'll be coming back really soon doing another video on altars. I'm really, really excited about that because you, you guys know um, I'm going to get ready to do something bigger with my ancestor altar. I'm thinking about like making it into, into like a shrine or something. You know, I've been been moved to make it bigger. It's It's been small for a little bit. But the things that I want to do on it and the way I want to, you know, things I want to do with my ancestors, I think it's going to require a bigger altar. So I'm really um, thinking about doing something different with my altar. So that's another thing why I brought the book and learning more rituals to do on my altar with my ancestors. So I'm learning a lot of things. All right. So I hope you learned something from this book. I hope you get the book. I do recommend the book. And thank you for being here today. I'll see you soon. And remember, uh, be looking out because I may be doing a free reading May 7th. All right. Take care of yourself, loved ones. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you. Namaste.